What's cracking, cold season family? How y'all doing? We back. Coldseason.com for that merch. 10% all sales go to our feed, the homeless program. All you gotta do is go to coldseason.com, pick out a merchandise item, add the item to your shopping cart, purchase the item, and 10% of that sale goes to our feed, the homeless program. We truly appreciate all the support. We still smoking on some cereal milk, that good gas, you know what I'm saying? I wanna talk about, first off, before we even get into this video, Shout out to Be Real and shout out to Snoop Dogg. People don't say it enough, but they really the pioneers of the YouTube podcast scene. You know what I'm saying? Be Real had the smoke box, was doing interviews in the whip. You know what I'm saying? Classic interviews too, bruh. Nigga was going fucking crazy in the YouTube back in the day. People ain't respecting it as much as they should. And then Snoop Dogg with the GGN News, you know what I'm saying? Crazy, classic interviews, you know what I'm saying? Some of the best smoke interviews on the planet, you know what I'm saying? Literally pioneers of the shit. You know, I don't really know where we taking this channel, but we just making content right now. And I, and I feel like that's most important. Learn about quality and quantity, you know what I'm saying, in the previous episode. But shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Wiz Khalifa too, because he got his... uh his vlogs and whatnot of him being on tour and just the whole, you know what I'm saying, rapper lifestyle. So his YouTube is clean too, you know what I'm saying? This is like back in the day, bro. Like you can go 10 years back and like all their shit is popping on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? We've been on YouTube 10 years. We posted, but we weren't active on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? We posted like a basketball video you know what I'm saying? And it ain't post nothing for like hella long, like years, and then probably posted like a couple more like basketball videos. We weren't really posting like YouTube content, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really gotta, I'm just gonna keep saying it every video because y'all might not watch every video, but Niggas need to get up, get active, and put some work in. At the bare minimum, 100 push-ups a day. That, that's the bare minimum. You know, that is the absolute bare minimum. At least 100 push-ups a day. We really need to be doing more than that. But that's like the bare minimum. I want y'all to be successful, and I believe y'all could be successful. But you just got to believe that you could be successful and just start working towards it. Just start working towards it. Stay away from the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Just stay away from the bullshit. You don't need to throw your life away. For what? Throwing your life away over a heated a heated moment. You know what I'm saying? A split second. And you could be, you know what I'm saying? Checked out. Gone. Out of this world. Over a stupid conversation over a female, over a card game, over a basketball game. And people, you know what I'm saying? People crash out over the dumbest things, bro. And it's like, sometimes people need to take a second to think. But common sense ain't too common, you know, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all keep your head in a swivel. Make sure y'all stay focused out here. We want to keep getting to the bag. We want to make sure that we locked in. And you got to stay locked in. You got to stay ready. You got to stay prepared. You got to stay focused. Always got to stay focused. You know what I'm saying? It's all about your mindset. All about your mindset. We want to make sure that you're getting to the bag and... You may be in a situation or a place where you're like, what does that mean? How do I get to the back? You got to figure out what you're comfortable with. You know, you might have to start out with a nine to five job. You know, everybody just don't got the finesse to just, just start making money. You know what I'm saying? Because you might not be a people person. So you might not be able to get no connections, you know? 
you just might have you might just not have no talent so you can't use that avenue you know what i'm saying you might have to get that nine to five job but that's why i say find something that you're comfortable with get a nine to five job that you're comfortable with you know what i'm saying start making some money start putting some to the side work overtime if you have to if, you know whatever job that is if it ain't paying enough for you to really maneuver and do what you want to do you want to start you know investing a little bit of that if you could save some up but realistically you want to be able to start like a side hustle or a little side business once you start getting some money we'll be able to start to move around a little bit if you want to get a little side hustle maybe start a little side business something that doesn't cost a lot of overhead something that isn't going to be a big startup cost and you just want to be able to utilize that and generate more income and as you start generating more income you can start picking up more assets and then you can start you know getting the ball rolling a little bit and being able to get into a situation where you're going to be comfortable now it's going to take some grit it's going to take some hard work it's going to take some consistency but it's not impossible you can get it done and i know you can get it done you gotta believe you can get it done and so i just hope you guys know that you know what i'm saying it's okay to work hard everybody not gonna be successful at the same time you know, I know some people like to say, well, you know, everybody's not going to be successful. I, I think that's bullshit. I just think everybody's not going to be successful at the same time. Meaning, you might have to work harder than the next person. And it might take you a little bit longer, but that's okay. Because you shouldn't be focused on what the next person has going on. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be focused on what that person did or what they're doing. You need to stay in your lane and focus on what you got going on so you can get to where you want to get to. Cut out all the jealousy, the ego, like all that shit is trash. It's not going to get you nowhere. It ain't going to get you no play and make you look soft. And it's just whack. It's not a good look. You need to focus on yourself so you can put the work in, so you can grind, so you can continually, continuously be focused so that you can, you know, get to where you got to get to because it's not just going to happen one day, like randomly, like, oh, I just got to be patient. I'll wait. And then, you know, one day, one day it'll happen for me. Like, nah, nigga, you got to get up and get to work and be consistent about that work. And then you can get some results. And if you don't like the results you're getting, you might need to work a little bit harder. So just shift your mindset and think about these things. But I'm not going to hold y'all too long because I want y'all to use this motivation to write down them ideas. Start executing on them ideas. Do your push-ups. Do your squats. Do your sit-ups. Do your jumping squats. Do your burpees. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the bag. Apply for that job. You know what I'm saying? You think you might not get it? You need to be applying to like five different jobs that's similar to the job you want. Because that might not even be the job you want. Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't just put in two applications, put in 10. Work a little bit harder for the things you want. Let's get it. Cold season, I found for that merch. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Let's get it.